Hello Aries, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to Reading So. Please keep in mind that this is your reading. I know one hour is a name for everyone. Okay, for Aries, please. Please bear a message for Aries. A love situation. Please bear for Aries. We have the Queen of Wands. Okay, so I think this is you, Aries, right? All confident, attractive, in your power, okay, independent. Good for you. So let's see. For Aries. For Aries, please. What message for Aries? Love situation. And this could have been male or female, okay? No gender here. For Aries. Okay, so. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. So, someone could have walked away, okay, in this situation here. Someone who thought it was, it would be better elsewhere, okay. So, yeah, could be you, could be a person, but someone could have walked away from this situation. Let's see for the present situation. We have the Five of Wands. So there could have been conflicts between you two. There could have been competition, okay? Could have been an interference here. You were not on the same page. There were arguments, okay? There was a lot of inner conflict. This person didn't know what they wanted, you know, and was could have been influenced by other people's opinions here. Why is the five of wands here? The two of wands. Okay, so <laughs> what I'm getting here is that there's a person here is at a crossroads. There's something about this five of wands, your, your person or you, do, you, you don't like it, okay? There's a lot of unhappiness here. There's an imbalance. Your person, so what I'm getting here could be you, but I'm getting this is your person. The people that are around your person, okay? Whoever's around your person, your person wants out. I think the Eight of Cups, they want to walk away from this. Whoever they are dealing with, it could be another person, could be, you know, a third party, romantic, could be uh, family, friends, right, co-workers, anybody, wherever, whoever they are, I, your person's not happy with these people. It's creating a lot of interference between you two. It could create distance between you two. It creates arguments between you two, okay? And so your person wants out. Your person could have walked away, okay? So what I'm getting is that your person could have walked away, but they got in themselves involved with these people, and now it's like, no, it's not working out. I want out, two wands. They're like, you know, Focusing on moving out, walking away from where they are because it's just not bringing them any more fulfillment. Why is it two wands here? The lovers. Yeah, I think what's going on is your person wants to come out of this, okay? And your person wants partnership. That's what they're focusing on. I'm could be karmic interference. Now your person's like really focusing on the connection maybe feel like you're their soulmate here okay could be with a gemini yeah this is definitely someone who could have you know in the past chosen someone else here between the lovers some someone who you know walked away from this partnership from this union strong soul connection to get involved in another situation but now it's like it's not working out whatever these whoever these people are whatever the situation is they're truly unhappy here and they want to walk away from this so let's see for the blocker potential the hermit oh yeah they're trying to find guidance big time here because they want like they're really not happy so they're very withdrawn right now they could be withdrawn from you they could also be very drawn from the people that are, you know, there are surrounding them. Someone's like in isolation here, trying to find guidance, do some soul searching because they know that it's wherever they are, it's not working out. Could be there with a Virgo. What is the Hermit card here? 
the judgment card. Yeah, their focus here is to come back to this connection and ask you for a second chance. It's like a comeback, right? Yeah, they want to rekindle things again. They don't want to get... They, they. I think your person's understanding that they made a big mistake, realizing that they made a big mistake, and now they're like trying to figure out how to ask you for a sec... You know, how to come back here and ask you for a second chance. So I think your, peop your person's going to detach from whoever's going to interfere here with this connection. Why is the judgment card... The two of swords, yeah. Definitely someone was a very confused. And they, these people could have influenced your person, could have created this confusion. I think there could have been definitely another person here in the picture, okay? There could have been a choice between you two people because we have the lovers. This person was not fully, clearly seeing this connection, right? Was not open, was not awakened to this connection. And so kept stagnating this, not willing to make a decision here, right? I think your person, wherever they were, they kept on going and going. They knew that they were not happy, you know, could have been false sense of happiness, but still, yeah, they were not moving. But now I think your person's had enough here. I think your person's ready to move now. Let's see for the recent past, for the recent past, the three of cups, yeah, third party. But, you know, these people, maybe these people, you know, a lot of fun, partying, right, drinking, being immature. Why is the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here? In the world, yeah, things ended, right? Because someone got involved with a third party here. Or someone is just very immature. Why is the World card? In the Five of Cups. But, see, already in the past, someone's actually regret it someone regretted getting involved with someone else here already in the recent past we see a lot of regret or you know it could be you as well you're very disappointed okay could be both of your energies you're also very disappointed right that things ended because there was someone else they got you know there's definitely distance yeah there's a lot of distance here between the two but someone here, you know, has a lot of regret for what they did. I think, yeah, your person realizes that they made a mistake here. Let's see for the focus. And the Ten of Pentacles. Your person's focusing on long-term commitment with you here. This is what they want here. I think they realize that it's not going to happen with these people that are around them, right? It's with you. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Why is the Ten of Pentacles? The Chariot. See, right above the two wands. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I don't want to stay here any longer. Well, it's in their focus, right? Their focus is to move away from where they are. Walk away fast. There's a Chariot. If they could... They would leave like tomorrow, right? That's the chariot. It's actually very fast. So a person's actually going to take control of their own situation now because they've just stagnating for quite a long time possibly here, being very unhappy, being surrounded by people that they actually don't even, you know, that maybe don't inspire them, that don't fulfill them emotionally, where there's no love, there's no, there's nothing, right? And so, yeah. I see a lot of stagnation here. Not, you know, knowing they were not happy, but still not moving. But now they want to move, okay? So it could be with a cancer. There's a chariot here. The eight of pentacles. Now they want to put in effort. Ooh, they want to put in, they were not putting in effort in the, in the past, right? Just there for fun, getting involved with other people. And now they're pretty serious here. Someone's thinking very serious stuff here with you. Ten of Pentacles, willing to put in effort for this. I don't know what was going on here, but, you know, with these people, just did not work out. It could have been very toxic. And so it just created a lot of conflicts, right? It created a lot of conflicts, everything in this Five of Wands, right? 
This interference, interference creates a lot of conflicts between the two and a lot of inner conflict in this person. I think your person was influenced by whatever these people were saying here. And maybe there were people that were against this connection. Then the, your person saying no. No, no, no. It's like, I see myself with Aries. I want to be with Aries now. Okay, it's clear. Let's see for the near future. And the Five of Swords. Yeah, conflicts, competition. Yeah, there's someone sabotage, right? This connection here. Could have been a lot of ego. Yeah, I think your person was stuck in this situation. Okay, for quite some time because of ego here. There was definitely ego here. Why is the Five of Swords here? And the Three of Pentacles. So now someone wants to put that ego aside. Someone wants to work things out with you. Someone wants to win you back as well. Okay, whenever I see the Five of Swords, it's like winning, wanting to, to win you back here. Let's see for the Three of Pentacles. And the Strength card. Yeah, someone's going to put that Ego aside here. The Strength card with the Five of Swords. That's Ego Death. Big time. And now they're going to meet you halfway. Put in that effort. It's like, let's compromise. Like, let's... Now it's all about partnership. Okay, maybe this person was not willing to work on this connection. In the past, right? Was not willing to put in the work, the effort, not willing to work on, on this connection. Now, they really want to. And this strength card could be with the Leo. There's a lot of, you know, of clarity. It's overcoming inner doubt that this is what they truly want. So let's see for the, uh, what you should know. The nine of wands. They're very determined here. There's a lot of determination. I think this is not someone who's going to, you know, um, is going to give up so easily here on this connection now, okay? Because I see a lot of determination here. Now, you could be guarded, but this person's telling themselves, I'm coming anyway. <laughs> We're going to work things out anyway. Let's see for the Nine of Wands. The Knight of Swords, yeah. Are you guarded? Listen, I'm going to break down your walls here. Yeah, your person wants to really rush in. Like I said, I mean, they really want to rush in, okay? I think if they could, they would. So I don't know what kept them stuck for, for quite some time in this situation here, stagnating like this, because what your person actually wants is to move in fast towards you. So we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Why is the Knight of Swords here? the moon yeah see it's like it's it's yet to be revealed so it's not you know right now they're keeping quiet about it they're not saying anything they may not even be telling you those people that they want out it's like they're keeping really quiet very isolated right the hermit they're not saying anything to anyone they're this person's planning like secretly planning something here an escape or something from whoever they're dealing with. So Cancer, Pisces, Energy, yeah. Someone's planning some sort of escape here, but they're not telling anybody about it. Being very secretive about this. So, hopefully they'll open up to you right eventually. Let's see for the outcome. The Sun card, happiness. That's what they want in the outcome. Happiness, because they're not happy. Could we deal with the Leo, strong Leo here. So, yeah, your person really wants happiness, and their happiness is with you, and I think that's so clear to them. With that sun card, that's a lot of clarity. Why is the sun card here? The ten of wands, yeah, your person's had enough here. Your person's at the end. Your person waited until the last second here to think about their own happiness. I don't know if they were pleasing everybody that they were with, whatever, they were being very influenced by other people instead of following their own happiness what it is that they truly wanted maybe someone or a lot of people kept your person stuck right from getting to you yeah big interference here but your person's like really at the very end they're now they're like so tired here right they're drained emotionally 
And so that's when they'll make that move, right? They know they cannot continue any longer where they are right now. They've hit a wall here. And now that's now they're going to think about themselves. Why is the Ten of Wands here? The Ace of Swords. Yeah, it's like they're going to take action. That's when they're going to take action. It's so clear. Yeah, there's a lot of clarity here. A lot of clarity. So, this, see the difference here? No more hiding. No more hiding. It's it's enough. It's like they're they're at the Ten of Wands. They're they're drained here from dealing with with other people here. They're so drained emotionally, right? There was no emotional fulfillment here. And so now let's see what if they're not telling anyone it's about to get out here. There's gonna be a lot of communication, someone's gonna take action, it's gonna be a lot of clarity here. They're not keeping quiet any longer. They're gonna tell these people that they're out and they're gonna tell you that they wanna to come towards you now. There could be trust issues, right? Because there's the Ace of Swords, so there could be trust issues. And so your person, you know, might want to rebuild the trust here with you. And this is up to you, right? If you want them back, I'm going to ask you for a second chance here with the Judgment card. And so it's up to you if you want them back. So that's it, Aries. So I hope it resonated with you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Take care.